Hey guys, Rambo Ryan here, and today I'm going to show you how to add this gauge overlay over your Parrot Bebop drone video using the uh, statistics and the data that the drone collects. So with this overlay, you can see your altitude, you can see your speed, your uh, vertical speed, your connection, your range, all that stuff. And so before you're going to do any of that and actually put the overlay in the video, you're going to want to connect your drone to your computer and then get the video that you want to add the overlay to. So you take the video off the drone and you have the video right here. So this is the one that we're going to be adding the overlay over. And you're going to want to download two programs, Verb Edit, VRB Edit from Garmin. This is the editing software that we're going to use to add the overlay and add the data and everything to the video. And then you're going to want Flight Data Manager, and this is where we're going to get the data and all the uh, information that the gauges will show from our drone. So once you have all of those downloaded and you have the video, the two softwares, you're going to want to open Flight Data Manager. So once you're in uh, Flight Data Manager here, you're going to want to click Load Data from Parrot Cloud. And then it'll show all of your flights and everything from the Parrot Cloud. You're gonna, just going to need to type in your username and your password for Parrot Cloud and it will show you all of your flights. You don't really need to do anything once you fly the drone. It automatically updates and uploads it to the Parrot Cloud. So now we're going to click the flight that we have the video for that's on our desktop, the one that we took off the drone. So this is the 5 minute 47 second one. We're going to double click that and it's going to pull up another page showing all of our flight data here for the drone. And we're just going to simply click export data to files. And then I just made a folder called flight data. You can do put this wherever you want and then just select folder and it will download to your computer and then we don't need to open Google Earth and we can close this folder but first we actually need to install the Garmin Verb GPS templates so we're gonna click this button right here and then you're just gonna want to uh, install Garmin Verb templates using feet or meters you can do both of them doesn't really matter I have them both installed so once you click those click both of those it will pull up a screen like this say installed and then we can exit out of that and we can exit out of this and now we need to go into the Garmin verb edit software so just double click that open this up and we can import our videos so we're gonna want to create a video and I'm just gonna call this um, actually, we have it right here because it didn't work before. Let's just edit this one. So we created a new uh, new video here. I just called it tutorial. And now we need to import clips and photos. Import other. And then this is my videos from my drone. And this is the file you're going to want to select. So you're going to want to select the file that you just exported the files for in Flight Data Manager. So this is the video right here import only and then it'll optimize and import all the videos or the video so we can add the gauges over it all right so now that we have the clips imported and optimized we can just click OK and then we're gonna drag the uh, the clip here down to the bottom and we can see the video we can just watch it real quick so you can see the video and now this is where we add the data and the gauges and everything. This is basically the most important part of the whole video. So we're going to want to click G metrics right here. And then no G metrics de detected. Um, we're going to want to click G metrics, this little box right here, click that and import G metrics. We're going to want to click on my computer and then we're going to browse and we're going to find the folder that we placed the data in and we're going to want to click the one that says feet I mean for me it's feet you can click the one that says meters I'm clicking feet it's the .fit file right here 
we click that and then it shows my whole path so we click use this log and now we select our gauges and our templates so we go to templates and I'm going to scroll down all the way to the imported bebop presets and I personally like six and we're going to do six feet so you can select different styles of overlays I'm just going to do six feet right here and there we go and then we go to appearance you can make it any color you want uh, you can change the accent colors let's just do yellow and it doesn't really matter yellow and white I guess and in the background you can make it a solid color a transparent color you can make no background you can do really anything you want and then if you want to customize how many gauges there are on the screen or what um, different like fonts and stuff you would use this page and then data this is where you select if you want to show that data so now we can play the video from the beginning and we can see that it shows how high my drone is where it's going right here the speed of the drone uh, it shows you speed right there it shows you the angle of the drone the height distance from the controller distance flown uh, Wi-Fi signal it shows the whole path right up here and the duration of the flight so this is basically it after we uh, import all the data you can export this file using export right here and we can select where to save it we can select the frame rate we can select the target quality all of that stuff and we can add branding if you want to add the verb intro stuff like that so that's basically it guys this shows you how to add um, these gauges if you have any questions make sure to leave a comment I'll be sure to answer them if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe for uh, more drone videos I mean I got this I just got this drone and I'm having a lot of fun with it I, uh, I hope you guys are liking these videos um, I hope this helped you a little bit showing you how to make your videos a little more uh, interesting I guess so it's not just the drone flying it actually shows you all the information that the drone is basically collecting so uh, yeah guys I hope you like this video and I will see you guys later peace